This next lesson on trading discipline is a very, very important one. What we want to say just before we go into the actual lesson is when you want to become a stock market trader, a lot of people focus on patterns and they will teach you patterns. This pattern means it will go up, this pattern means it will go down. That is very important. But what is just as important sometimes is what you guys do when you are in a trading situation because sometimes what you do is just as important as what the share price is doing when it's fluctuating. With these videos that we have made for you guys, it's basically gearing you up to do the right thing that professional traders do. If you enjoyed our videos and enjoy the video that we are showing you now, then we have a good 25 to 30 other videos exactly like this one you are watching on our eDVD on our website. The lesson that we're going to go through now is called chasing the market. The best way to explain this is to sort of envisage a situation. So you want to buy shares and you've identified a support line at one pounds per share. Now your analysis tells you you want to buy around 102 pence per share. Buy just above the support line and we have a video on this on our eDVD as to why. You want to buy at 102 and you've put your stop loss at say 94 pence. Now the market comes down from 105, goes to 103.5 pence per share, and then goes straight up to 106.5, let's say. Now what do you do? Do you buy that share anyway? Because you knew it was going to go up and it has gone up, so it's a strong share, you should buy it, right? Well, a trader wouldn't. A good trader wouldn't. Because you would be chasing the market. If you want to buy at 102, and this happens a lot, it will come down just to above where you wanted to buy it and then it will shoot higher. You must not chase that market, you must just let that share go. Be satisfied that you got your analysis slightly right, even though you didn't quite make the trade, it will happen to you a lot in your career. You must not jump in at a higher price because if it goes to uh, 103.5 and then shoots up to 106 and you buy, who is to say? The, the people who bought when you was prepared to buy aren't selling then. And it goes up to 107 and then dumps all the way back down to where your stop loss is and would have stopped you out. Now if you bought at 106, you have just made a huge loss because you increased your risk by panicking that you was missing the trade. Stick to your guns at 102. If you would have got filled and bought the shares and then it goes down to 94 pence and stops you out, you made a small loss. You jump in at 106, you are making a huge loss. You do that a few times and you will quickly wipe out the funds in your portfolio just because you panicked because you really did not want to miss that trade. Get into the mentality that it is very hard to do that. It is hard when you want to buy a share and it nearly comes down to where you want to buy it and shoots up. It's so hard to ignore it, but you must. If you want to be a trader, you must. One of the best ways to do this is to say to yourself, when I'm counting through my profits and losses at the end of the year to work out how much profit I've made for that year, am I going to care that I missed that one trade by 1p? You're probably not. It would have been lovely to make the trade, but you didn't. You didn't jump in at a higher price and increase your risk. You've done what a good trader should do. Because it is so much better, guys, to be out of a trade wishing you was in it then in a trade wishing you was out of it because you've jumped in and it's gone against you and now you wish you was out of that trade. So always have this in mind. Never ever chase a market. 